Heyo everyone, it's AJ and today is Monday and you know what that means, it's Meg Monday, yeah, and happy Halloween and I am semi dressed up looking like a twat because I have no plans, woo, <laughs> so we have a crown because why not, <laughs> but anyway that does not matter because today we are talking about the latest chapter of Bingo Stray Dogs 15 Years, or as it's technically titled, Does I Chew Ya and 15. So, woo! And obviously, you know, if you've been on this channel long enough, oh, I cannot get enough of Hoshikawa's artwork. And it's even better when you follow them on Twitter because you get cute little extra drawings with the chapter release and oh, I love it so much. It's just great. <laughs> and obviously I will be spilling my guts of love for how much I love their artwork. So, hey ho. <laughs> and just to start things off, we are not getting the big epic chapter that was chapter one where it was like 65 fucking pages. Like, still blows my mind. We're getting 35, which is still nothing to tut over, but still, oh, the impact of chapter one, Mwah! amazing. And starting off with chapter two, we're f starting off again with Daza and Chuya just like after fucking whacking each other, and it's like, oh, let's just keep fighting, because <laughs> as you do, <laughs> and oh, yes. <laughs> just so good like this is just such a great like series and I love like the whole 15 arc it's just so good and just to see it depicted in this art style woo! also just how far like Hoshikawa will go with their work like mm, yes oh so much love like the action scenes just like hit. It's just like, oh, Dai's I just getting fucking kicked? Nah, just like, boom. <laughs> uh, also just like how epic all the characters look. Not just like Dai's I and Chuya, just like everyone either looks fucking scary or fucking epic. Like, yes. Yes. Oh. <laughs> uh, also, I just love that I have another Chuya panel that is just like stopping bullets. It's just, and just surrounded by bullets. Like, yes, I live for these panels. Oh God, the panel from like the mainline series of Chuya firing the bullets. And then like, we have obviously all the other ones where he stops the bullets. And it's just like, yes, cause he just looks like an epic motherfucker. <laughs> Yes, I'm in that kind of mood today, as you can tell. So, obviously, the mood is just going to continue on for just how much I can just appreciate it. Just drawn so epically. Ah, so, obviously, Dazai and Chuya are just fighting like little twats, as they do, because obviously, Dazai imposing into Chuya's territory to a degree and whatnot, and also just getting teased. It's like, haha, king of the sheep, obviously. Hee <laughs> crown. <laughs> and whatnot, and then it's just like, hmm, what are you just getting involved, being like, you know what, I don't care if you're a wee kid, I'm gonna use my fucking ability on you, and like, get you soft back, although, obviously it works out that Hurutsu can use his ability on Chuyu, because obviously Chuyu can just go, eh -eh, just kind of stop it. Knowing the story, you obviously know that that's how it, like, sneaks up and just like, touches to you on like the neck just to kind of stop him and see that panel oh god yes the fucking hold out eyes of dad's eye using his ability on to you to stop his gravity oh i love it so much also it's so fucking fitting for like halloween because it's just so fucking haunting but it's so good. I am obsessed. Like, ah! <laughs> just, it's just like, it belongs in like a horror like manga and it's just great. <laughs> See, it's very fun for Halloween. <laughs> 
So, as Dazai is using his ability to, like, nullify Chuya so that Hutsu can just go boop and send him flying. Um, obviously, they both go flying and Hutsu is like, um, wait, what the fuck's going on? I should have only hit Chuya. Dazai should have went flying. And it's like, oh, well, Chuya's a smart wee bastard. And kicked Dazai before Hutsu could activate. So then he went flying as... Do you went flying to then go like, haha, I'm now balancing on this wall. And just the impact of him like hitting the wall, just like, oh, yes. So good. And then, like, just as like Chu is going to try and like full forward attack on them again, because obviously, whole oh, fuck, he's powered up, he's going to go and they can't really stop him. And um, nah. Here we go, here's the weekend a mini explosion thing that just happens whilst they're there. <laughs> Them going like, what the actual fuck is going on? And lo and behold, here comes like our good friend, the old fucking mafia boss, just causing fucking havoc. <laughs> well, implied, obviously. So, oh, mwah. The joys are just even just seeing the fucking explosion lines and whatnot, and it's just like, ah, oh, yes, it's just like, poo, and then just black out. <laughs> and then um, we get to the end of the chapter, unfortunately, because, like, why does it have to be so short? Like, it was so good last month with all, like, the 65 odd pages, and you got so much into it. And then it's just like, and here's, even though. 35 pages, nothing to scoff at. It's just, it just feels so quick when you're reading it. And it's like, no. Because then we end up in Mori's office with, like, Chuya obviously captured and whatnot. And then that's it. It's like, great! Why? <laughs> ah, ooh, I just love how this is getting depicted. And it's just so good. And obviously... Artwork's just so nice. Honestly, cannot wait for this to come out in a f like physical volume. Like, oh, so good. Oh, so good. I, I'm just head over heels for this series. Like, it's also just quite nice. Like, even though like nobody is talking about it as much. Like through like my wee end of like looking for things. So. I'm actually just like reading the raws as it is, despite that I have no fucking clue what they're technically saying, for the most part, until like I find people that actually do then take the time to translate it, but then it's a bit of a delayed kind of system because it's not as, it doesn't seem to be as favoured like the mainline series, like the day that, that series comes out everyone's already starting to translate it whether like it's Portuguese or whatever, like I'm not gonna lie, literally most of the time there's this Portuguese person that um, translates it, so they translate it into Portuguese and then, I, and then like translate it from Portuguese into uh, like <laughs> English, so then I get like a rough estimation of like what is actually being said on the page. But 15 isn't getting the same kind of treatment as much. Mm. But I'm gonna say I'm not entirely bothered, see, because obviously I've watched the manga, uh, the anime version, and I've got 15 volumes like up here. 15 volumes? 15 years up here. <laughs> 15 volumes. Um, aye, 15 years up here. So I've read it. So it's not like I don't know what roughly is getting said. Like I have a general gist of what happens like just looking at it. So it's not the end of the world. So see when they come out physically, it will be like a nice joy to be like, oh, what have you been actually saying? Because I have no fucking clue. I've just been literally picking it up, looking at it and being like, oh, pretty, <laughs> pretty artwork. It just happens that I know what should be happening. So all the context is generally there anyway. So it's all fine and dandy in that, well, arguably for myself. Obviously, not everyone will think the same, but that's just my thoughts at the fact that I'm just happy that I can just read the raws and just look at it and see its beauty. Because it's going to be about two years or something like that until like the first volume comes out, probably. Because it takes about roughly like six months for like them to make their own Japanese like volume. And then it's like another like, <laughs> like 
a year or so before like it comes out in English, like my end of the world. So it's gonna be a while. <laughs> so why? So like two years. See if it comes quicker. Oh yes. <laughs> I'm hoping how well Beast has done would maybe help push it forward. But who knows? Only time will tell, unfortunately. But yeah. So <laughs> Oh, nice wee quick manga Monday for the very last one of the month. Great joys. And then we should have the next chapter in a couple of days for the main line, which is a backstory, but still, hopefully it helps conclude something. <laughs> Probably not, but anyway. <laughs> oh, good times ahead for the next few months. We got, Obviously, we're getting lots more volumes coming out, so we'll have Beast Volume 4, we've got uh, Volume 22 coming out. Obviously, in January, we have fucking season four coming. Ah! And then we'll have, obviously, little ones. And we've got uh, Dead Apple coming out at some point. And then the second volume of another story, which is, like, the longest gap between any of the volumes. Because when does volume one come out? Like, 2020? Fuck knows, I can't remember. But it's been a while, so we finally get volume two of that whenever that's due to come out because the date keeps changing on my end so who knows I think it's meant to be November but we'll see <laughs> we'll see when I eventually get up so next year <laughs> with the stupid delays but anyway let me know your thoughts down below are you following the series as it comes out with chapters like I am and if you're not why not like you know your little thoughts are you loving it are you hating it you just think it's a bit much. <laughs> are you excited for all the new releases that are coming in the next few months? Especially when all the hype of fucking season four coming out in January. So let me know down below. I always like hearing your wee thoughts. It's so nice. <laughs> but anyway, happy Halloween and I will see you in the next one. I'm AJ and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. -bye. Thank you.